LeMay America's Car Museum has a new exhibit this month. It's called the Corvette Creativity Display, and it shares the hot rods evolution over the past seven decades. Today we're getting a look at the new exhibit with Executive Director Gary Yamamoto. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, Thanks excited to have me. you in here. So the display just opened this past weekend. Tell us all about it. What can people expect to see? Oh, it was a great weekend. On Friday, we had a members-only sneak preview, so they got to see the exhibit before it opened to the public. And then Saturday was our public opening, and it was great because we actually had people show up two hours before the museum opened, waiting to get in to wow. see it. And a lot of them brought their own Corvettes. So we allowed them to park on the plaza, which is pretty amazing. So people who came down not only got to see the cars in the exhibit, but also cars on the plaza. So it was like a double, double benefit for them. That sounds like a fun kind of cultural celebration, too, you know, for everyone that's into these amazing cars. LeMay is so cool. I yeah, mean, it's, thank it is, you. it's such, it's a beautiful museum. All the cars, how far back do the vets go? All the way back to the first generation. So the first generation was 50, 53 to 57. So we actually have a 57, core, three of them actually in there. Uh, one of them actually was in the 1962 World's Fair. So Whoa. we brought that one back. Um, but again, the great thing about the exhibit is that while it is the 70th anniversary of Corvette, we want to do something a little different, a little more creative, and maybe a little controversial. So we feature each generation has its stock version, and then we also have modified versions of each model. So that's where it gets a little controversial because some of the tra traditionalists don't like to see their car tinkered with. And so I'm sorry. I was going to say, what are some of the modifications? Well, it's as simple as some have just this amazing colors all the way to uh, we have a deconstructed uh, Corvette, which is in pieces so people can see all the inner workings, to race cars, actually, who have raced in Le Mans. Okay. Where did the modified ones come from? All uh, local collectors. They are. So we always try when we do our exhibits to feature cars from local collectors so that they get to showcase their cars uh, to the community. That's great. Do you well, have a favorite? I do. Um, we have a, a, a C7, which is, a, that's 19, I think it's 20, 2020, sorry, 2020, and it's a deep cherry color. Ooh. It's a convertible. It's like, what I like about it is, is when you look at it, certain angles look black, and then you turn the corner, and it has this really deep, burgundy color. It's just amazing. Do you ever just take it out for a spin when nobody's looking? Oh, I'd looking? love to, but I don't think the <laughs> owner would let me. <laughs> Probably not. What, what have you discovered from doing this as the, you know, executive director and you're the main guy at LeMay and then you have the Corvette display? What are some of the things that the average person doesn't know about a Corvette that you've learned? Well, okay, so the Corvette has actually uh, been used as the pace car more than at Indy 500, mm -hmm. more than any other car. They actually made an early version of the Corvette with a 36-gallon gas tank. So that's Whoa. pretty huge for a little sports yeah, car, no right? Yeah, no kidding. And the 1983 version year of the Corvette, they made one. Why did they make that gas tank so big? Just knowing people are going to be driving really fast and really far? <laughs> <or what? laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know why they did it, but, you know, the fact that they tried to put it in there, it didn't last. <laughs> okay. So I think, you know, the weight and uh, didn't, it impacted the performance of the car. I can see that. Okay, so this seems like a must-check-out exhibition. How long is this display going to be hanging out there? It'll be there till March. Okay. So, but hurry, come down and see them. Uh, there'll be a, a number of cars that do change out, so we like to add variety for people to come back down to the museum and, and see all the cars that collectors all have. Of yeah. All of, the, all of the exhibits and everything. It's, it's so cool because normally you guys have, I've been there several times. Yeah. Normally you guys have like the, you know, the newest display stuff on that first main level right. and then down the ramp, but then all the subsequent levels below are all like the cool, exotic, like TV cars and stuff. Oh. It is such a cool place. Well, the people don't know it's the largest car museum in the nation. Right? I did not know that. Yeah, over 165,000 square feet of space and over 300 cars. So the people come down, they're like, wow, I didn't realize this was so large. Yeah. And what's exciting is that the people who come down who are not necessarily car enthusiasts, I interview with them, and they're totally amazed, and they said, I wish I could come down sooner. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, good advice. You also have some really cool events this month for students and for families. Tell us all about those. Yeah, we always have um, a family STEAM day, uh, which allows families to come down and, and take part in special projects that they vary by each month. We also have um, story time for little, little ones. Mm -hmm. um, so we like to have a variety 
Um, you know, the educational part of our museum is, is a big growing part that we're trying to continue to expand on. Because I think the more we educate uh, the future generations of the role the automobile played in the history of the nation, the, the, the longer we can make sure the heritage of the automobile continues on. Sure. And LeMay also has a huge uh, philanthropy component. You guys just did your Wheels and Heels event. You've got to tell us about that. Yeah, so that's our big annual gala that we have. Um, what's great about it is, is it allows people to come down and really show their support for the museum because uh, we rely on members and donors uh, to support us mm -hmm. and to allow us to continue to showcase these cars for the future generations. And so it was a very fun event. Uh, we got to um, acknowledge some people within the community who have been master collectors, master craftsmen, um, and that's always a special part for the museum. That sounds like a wonderful event. Gary, thank you so much for coming in today. This thank has you. been wonderful. Uh, we posted a little bit more information on the Corvette creativity display on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live. I have a feeling you're going to be going there. Oh, my so. God. 65 <laughs> vet with the pipes? Come on. Yeah. yeah.